episode of Lama Doge. Wow. My mind is on something else. In about half an hour, I, I need to quickly go and check something. You'll have to give me five minutes. Hey, bye. How are you doing? I guess I remember we were in a fight. So let's uh, get back into the fight. Get ready for fighting. Hey Lewis, hey bye, how are you guys doing? Alrighty, so that's our new sa Salutor. Let's, uh... I don't remember who did the most. I need to take him out. Got it some the martyr. <laughs> I don't have a shield. Bastards are uh, uh, me. Cow? Shot me twice. Ew. Jeez, he hurts. I don't know if I'm ready for this. He keeps disrupting my. Yeah, I'm not gonna make this. No! Bloody hell. I'm dead. He just disrupted my salutor. I don't know if I should go back and... and Go do something else before I I try this again. I need to upgrade. I, I'm I'm so behind. Yeah, that was the second time I died from that fight. Let me see what this. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You what? About to say, Streamlab not working. Okay, I think I'm gonna come back to this one. Um, I want to go see if I can. I want to go to the graveyard, actually, because I think we we're ready for the graveyard. Oh, there's something there. Smell of freshly baked chala brings back old memories like an echo of a forgotten tune. Entwined deep in the consciousness like braids of Easter.
Let's go do this one, actually. Because we are ready to do this one. It's an old sky. Let's go. So this is all the so we we've met three of each really it's the one i was trying to get now we've seen this one i like him look at what we already have the garland oh, that we've seen Thank goodness, that's the, the, the naked one. <laughs> that's a nice one. Ooh, I wonder where she is. I'd like to get her. Get her cool. Okay, so we need to go. Oh, wow, so if you're in the area, but oh, there's another point of interest. There's another point of interest there too. Uh, The other one was down this road. This hey, Brand, how are you doing? I think there was another point of interest down this way. XP, which is what I'm, I'm in desperate need of. So there's a tram stop. Let's go to the carriage. And we go to for Wishley. of interest here seems so. uh i think it's in this alley or this I'm not sure let's follow our intuition i don't know why it's splitting i hope we have enough what more do you want from me well the subject i lost so something still eludes I have okay. to go now. It's true. Yeah, it is true. I do have to go now. Um, now there's, there must be something that I still need to find then. What have I found everything? Apparently not. There we go. Every day at 12, the Association of New Sports invites everyone who is willing to learn a new team event. First, there was a drawing depicting Blake in a ball. The Association of English Sport invites everyone who is willing to learn a new team event. Did I need to speak to this boy again? I don't remember. Get it away from me! I don't want to touch it! Yellow belly. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, now I remember. We hey, had you. to. Yeah. What do you want here? Let's put that playing with. What the, yeah, they're playing with the book. 
It's a He's hook a from a real dead man. A dead man's hook. Quiet, you dogs. This hook is from the fisherman's victim, isn't it? So what if it is? What's it to you? They've already caught the murderer. What if I tell you that they didn't? That they caught the wrong man? The fuck they did! Get lost! Yeah, bloody mouth McGee over Unless here. Unless we trade for it. Got anything interesting to barter with? Um, I do a little snot. And what would you like for the hook? Ah, uh, a cannon, a saber. Well, you heard him. If you bring us a cannon or a saber, we'll give you the dead man's hook. That should be doable. There were some old blonde sabers in Father's office. Go away now. You're boring. A little insufferable dweeb. Okay. Stick. Thick and sturdy. Someone has carved the name Pyotric in it. Each mark has signed with joy and merriment. Scratch from hitting a bucket. Protruding splinter from fencing. The carved letters are oozing shame. Stick has been silent companion in the most recent, in the most secret play. Takes part in investigations and help catch criminals. Yeah, that's what we need to find. We need to find something to convince him to help us. Empty beer bottle. Rapture streams into the heart with every sip. The police officers with their solemn faces look so fine in the uniforms. Bitter aftertaste is lost completely. Ground Drowned out by daydreaming. The glass reflects sunlight on the face, but that is not what makes it so radiant. I think we got him. Oh, I need to speak to you now. Oh, we can influence him. Salut. Okay. Salut. Have you heard this fancy pants? Now we can expose. You have the makings of a good detective. I could use the help of someone as smart as you in my investigation. I... I'd like to help. That's commendable of you. Then the first step would be to give me back the hook. Don't give it back. Don't be a sucker. Shut it! I want to help the police with their investigation. Got it? If you got a problem with that, you can fuck right off. Here. So what now? Go to your mother and ask her to wash your mouth with soap twice. Arsenic ones that you guys like, do you? Okay, the hook resonates from the collision of two thoughts. Someone tried to savor the victim's dying screams while appreciating the moment. <laughs> Yet flitting the curved metal. It was a regret for someone who should be convulsing here instead of this particular eel. Uh, I'll examine it. Now I'll examine the hook and keep looking for other clues. Patrick's a lick spittle for the coppers. Shut your mouths! Or you lose even more teeth. I'll help you. Come find me near Antiaja's brothel. We can resume the investigation there. All right. Enough of this. Let's leave this place. Okay. Now we now we we can pick up those other two clues that we weren't able to. on about justice again. Spare yourself the trouble. Nope. Something still eludes me. Um, I have to go now. It's true. It's very true. Okay, we need to find Biotric.
You back? Going to the store? Do you win a few? See something, something. Hello there. I can find the purchase of 25 bales of denim at you. Oh, this is with the tailor. The things people come up with. Yep. Success, breakthrough, and lucrative business dance around it like a new globe. Fabric which is gaining popularity in America is clothing more workers. I think I did pick this up last time. Against the characters. Yeah, this is for the tailor. Mm hmm. It's for the trailer. I kind of thought we had um, done that one already. That's the problem. I, what I don't like about this game when you when you fail, that you lose all the progress so you've done. So then I tell him, stick that rubble up your ass. Good I've great. got my honor. You sure are a canny lad. Hello. I'm on my break. Come back later. I sent him Auntie Clara. We're doing an investigation together. You're always up to something, Piotrush. What investigation? Uh, yeah. What are we doing here? What do you mean? The aunties are the key to the world of information. They know him here more than anyone else in Povishle. Are you his actual aunt? You really are a tourist. Of course they're not. But I prefer them to the real ones. They always <laughs> help me somehow when I'm in trouble. They'll dress a wound, give me an apple, or a beer. Piotrus, Piotrus, nothing gets by you. You remember that lady's gloves? I said I liked them once, and he brought them to me the next day. Well, mm -hmm. just say the word. What do you know about the fisherman? All I know is he's in jail. Yeah, he does. Finally, <laughs> this cursed place can breathe a little. He's not in jail, though. We're looking for the real one. Piotrush, is that the investigation you're playing? What do you mean, playing? We're both dead serious and committed, auntie. You better watch out. You'll get in trouble. He even looks like a little evil snot. What next, partner? It's not over yet. Now we split. You looks like go Chucky. grill the other aunties and I'll see you later. After dark, some of them work here and others in the streets. Remember to tell them I sent you. Piotrek Justa, that is. And ask better questions this time. <laughs> Wow. Watch him. If anything happens to him, it's your fault. Noted. Wait until nightfall to interrogate the aunties. Uh, let's go find a bench. There's a bench there. Oh, there's a bench closer. Watchman's report. On September 3, after numerous complaints from residents of the apartment building, I decided to chase away the boys playing and hoop rolling in the courtyard. This made them angry and for the next hour they stood under the windows and took turns yelling. When their throats became sore, they announced that the next day they would return. And if they were banned from playing, they would protest in a similar fashion. Real snots. I want to go this way. I want to go this way. A wooden seat overlooking the house of the fisherman's last victim. Wood that has split from cold, thousand storms, and the scorching sun holds more than just sand in its cracks. There is a hate. There is hateful thought in the grain. Someone was surprised. The house didn't stink with those 
fish. There's effing fish. What have we got here? Quartz Gazette. You're working but wanted to stop by and say hi? Oh, thank you, Dodie. Appreciate it. How are you doing? Hope you are uh, 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 having a good day at work. Why is it not allowed to use shoes with nails unless the nail heads are driven completely flush with the leather? Hand fittings on shoes are also not allowed. Nor are rubber soles or shin guards. Nor are wooden pegs sticking out of the shoe. Player who does not comply with this must be excluded from the game. The Sports Gazette. Okay, let's sit here until night. Aren't your legs getting sore? Stupid question. I don't have legs, buddy. Wait here. Uh, he's probably I not going to say much. I can't stop thinking about Svetlana. Do you think she... Yes, I suppose you're right. Does it matter? Let's wait until... Uh, noon or night. So, let's kill some time. Okay, I am going to pause it real quick. I have quickly need to go and check something. So, uh, give me about five minutes. Are you sure you
Alrighty, and I'm back. Alrighty, let's see where we were. Okay, we waited till night time. Let's go and um, see the aunties. I think yes. I have spoken to her. Have you hmm. seen anyone suspicious here lately? Other than you? <laughs> this is Bobishla. Everyone's suspicious here. What are you selling? My late husband's junk. Oh yeah, she's not so I don't need to look at all of this if I can't look at him. I have to go now. Goodbye. We weren't able to ask her if she's seen anybody suspicious. Going in a lot of different directions. We're we not going to the brothel again. Oh wait, there's two ladies over there. Good evening. Good evening. What do you want? I bet he's a customer. Do you want to put him off? How do I know if he's Lovely. a customer or not? But things happen in this weather. You're right. What brings you here? What do you know about the fisherman? What an odd question. Unless... God, it's him. He came to kill us. But they just got him. That freak who painted corpses was the fisherman. He created inspiration for himself. Right? Um... No, let's calm them Take down. it easy. I was sent here by Piotr Kiusta. Somehow I don't believe you. Maybe you got him too, fisherman. <laughs> Piotr introduced me to Auntie Clara too. I assure you they are both alive. I just want to talk to you. Well, if you hang around with Piotr, you can be the fisherman. Especially if you are that handsome. This is Auntie Clementina, and you can call me Auntie Anastasia, like the Tsar's daughter. But we don't know anything about the fisherman, and we'd rather not talk about him. Obvious. So there's something I still need to find. Too bad. I felt safer with you around. So we still need... Something. Okay, and Wednesday at uh, I think that was the thing I was looking for. Complete. I can no longer stand with what is going on almost every afternoon under the window of or five a piranhas where it used to be so quiet, clattering, screaming and banging on metal. Can you hear it? Please do something about it as soon as possible. Well, there we have it. Mm-hmm. A card folded in half and addressed to Watchman Paul Stoslaw, the resident of the tenement house at 5A Browning Street, complains about the daily noise under her window. In the courtyard of the tenement house, was every afternoon a group of boys playing in group. To the despair of the tenants of nearby apartments, it seems that the boys are having fun and are eager to let new players join in. I don't think that was the information I was looking for. Um, Good evening. Auntie. Cloud behind the corner, five copies. Naked in a bed, fifteen. A blow will cost you three. Unless you just want to watch something, then it's two. If it's something else you're after, you can fuck off, or I'll call for help. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. Piotr Kjusta sent me. <laughs> He's a nice kid. Piotr sent you? Well, why didn't you say so? I'll give you a discount, though. No, I'm 
that's not why I'm here. I just want to talk. Well, fire away before someone is sent to us. The fisherman. Have you heard anything about him? Only the things everyone's been prattling on about. But if it's information you want, buy yourself a newspaper. Two copycats. Any other questions? Or should we get to the point? I'll let you get back to work. Goodbye. The madame looked at the cards and her eyes widened in astonishment. Your fate is still uncertain. It's ruled by forces that are beyond our ken. The ending to the story has not yet been decided. She whispered trembling, nothing new there. Anything. How you been? That's a dead end. Seriously? Have we spoken to all the aunties now? I don't feel like we have. Maybe we should go back to the brothel and, and speak to the ones there. We definitely have not spoken to them. The gentlemen. Time for a breath of fresh air. Spring encourages change. Busy, busy. <laughs> Which is why the March issue features the new ideal male beauty clean shaven face, perfectly cut cut dress, and compromising colours and carefully picked accessories. End of the issue experts analyse working fabrics that became increasingly popular. No aunties in this street. Oh, but it's freaking daytime already, so I'm not going to be able to speak to them. That's Let's go see if there's anything that I've learned that's new. Really, you're gonna take me the long way around? You're kidding me. here to prattle on about justice again. Spare yourself the trouble. See, it still eludes me. Um. I have to go now. It's true. Okay, bye. Okay, let's go find a chair to sit on. Where am I? I'll make it noon. Let me rest. Let's wait until afternoon. So let's kill some time.
The sun apparently sits very quickly in this place. Thank you, Wes. Improved. What a day. Let's wait until... Later. So, let's kill some time. We spoke to her. Just speak to these ladies a little quicker. Can't speak to that one. Ready? Now we can go in here. Is the gent looking to forget his worries for a while? Discretion guaranteed. I haven't had an angry wife come here yet. Are you the owner of this establishment? Of course, precious. Welcome to Auntie Yaja's body house. Tell me about this place. All right, precious. Ask away. Um... Does Piotr Kiusta live here too? That one always finds his way around. He's a nitwit. The girls like him and he likes them. As long as he knows his place, he can hang out here. Where are his parents? Who knows? He's a foundling. Um... When you send your girls out to work, aren't you concerned about their safety? You must be the reason Anastasia and Clementina came back crying. Do you know how long it took me to calm them down? At least here they are safe. They are safe out there. Is that clear? Let's change the subject. Finally. Shall I find you a companion? Thank you. Maybe I'll... Return later. You're blushing, precious. Well, goodbye then. Okay, let's see. There are secrets here. An old, barely working instrument. Thoughts of lost hopes in the mean city of Warsaw, unstrung like the instruments they've settled on. Suddenly, they vanish, completely replaced by violent memories of their owner senses the odious smell of fish in there. Oh, interesting. Nothing up here. In there. Okay, well, um, there's definitely something I'm missing. Must be somebody that I haven't spoken to yet that knows something.
Let's artist check. That's the pier. Maybe I didn't ask the right question earlier. Feels so good to smack someone like this sometimes. And better yet, to watch they're smacking from a distance. So there's stuff at night time that you can find as well. It doesn't show up during the day. Interesting. Damn it. What am I missing? And it's daytime again. You're kidding me. Javier's barge. I need to be there right now. Dang it. Honestly, I don't know what I'm missing here. been in here and there's absolutely no clues left. Yeah. I was hoping that the brothel was the answer but it doesn't seem so. Let's go back to the top and, and give him the hook at least. Maybe that, I don't know if that's going to make him open the I don't think that's enough evidence to reopen the case. If you came here to prattle on about Jack. Yeah, something still eludes me. I got the hook from the victim's body. Local kids had stolen it. I already have a few of these. Because of it, I know. Let's call it the scent of the murderer. A thermotage could be useful in a case like this. But the case is closed. That's enough. When I get sober, I put you in jail, I swear. Now leave me alone. We'll see about that. I'll find out why you're so reluctant to run this investigation. And then we'll resume it together. What? You're going to cast a spell on me, magician? Good idea. Who knows? Don't go anywhere. I felt something. Where is it? Oh, okay. Here we go. There is the thing I was trying to find. All covered in broken glass. Drink competition was out of target. In addition to the bottles, he also threw words full of resignation and bitterness. They were joined in the flight by a sense of duty, the satisfaction of a job well done, and a large shred of heart he once had for the job. He doesn't want to lose it, but can he manage to hold on to it? Hmm? Lisa, crumpled and tossed into the mud, maybe it can be washed. 
Cursing, he angrily sent the symbol of his word where it belonged, alone against everyone. What's the point in trying? Someone without ambition and without conscience will always come along and give a heartless order. To do things faster, to do more, but never to do them better. Why don't I know that? Dying flame. It's not too late to convince Pelevin. He doesn't believe Kate Gunn is guilty and would like to find the true killer. The will to fight is still smoldering in him. But just, I just need to rekindle the flame. Ooh. The spell it is. See, we needed this guy to do this. Of all the joints in Povishla, you walk into this one again. You won't give up that easy. Deep down, you're not that kind of man. Tilting at windmills has dimmed your investigator's instinct, but you won't give them the satisfaction. I don't have the strength. I do. Let's bring this case to a close. Let's find the real fisherman. You're right. The dubber is innocent. I'm not going to fall in with a heartless system where all that matters is the quarterly performance. Come, I'll show you the body. It's still in the ice room, unless the pallbearer took it. Yes. I'll tell you the rest of the story there. We did a thing. Viktor Shulski, Thaumaturg. Antoni Nigorevich Pilevin. What? Huh? Lead the way. Way too many consonants, dude. I hope I don't regret it, Thaumaturg. Alrighty. Let the go. It isn't far. Did you walk faster, though? Walk faster! There he is. Tadeusz Pielecha, a Powiśle man, childless, 46 years old. He was a fisherman. No, Tomaturk. That's the other. Okay. There's a heat of living fingers imprinted on the dead skin, frosted by rapid breath. Someone has dragged the body towards the nightly ripple of the river. The trip was short, the effort passing. Satisfaction wild, the contempt boundless. He has multiple wounds and bruises. Yeah, he was tortured before he died. But the immediate cause of death was a strong hit to the back of the head. Stamped like a fish. It's a joke. Did he have a family? We only know about the wife. They didn't seem to get along. Where can I find the widow? She lives in a house on the corner. Oh, that's the Between the, the marketplace yeah. and the Ajax brothel. That's the woman we just questioned about somebody suspicious. Pileha wasn't the fisherman's first victim. What about the others? There was another fisher, a porter. A traveling saleswoman, but this is our best clue. Were other victims from around here as well? 
Some spent all their lives in Povishla. Others were passing through. And they were just unlucky. Then it's certain the fisherman lives in the area and knows it well. Which means he probably also keeps his victims somewhere around here. And then just drops them on the van? Hmm. Mm -hmm. So he does have a hideout. And Any I mean... personal items? Something could have been imprinted on them. His emotions, thoughts, anything. All he had was his wedding ring. But we gave it back to the widow because she was crying that she wanted to have a memento of the, her husband. We should ask her to show this wedding ring to us. I presume it's his trademark. Yes, he always puts pebbles in place of gouged out eyes. Ordinary river pebbles, probably collected at the local wharf. All right, the autopsy is over. When did Pileja's wife report he was missing? She admitted she was worried her husband had been gone for three days. She did take her time. Maybe she was the one who killed him. Why don't you talk to her? If you need me, I'll be at the moonshine. Pebble was dried blood on its surround by echoes of excessive thoughts. Someone has shoved it into the empty sky socket. Wondering why they hesitated so long if it was so satisfying. Memories filled with pain fluttered in the head. Getting somewhere. Um, retrieve the wedding ring. Let's go do that. Yes. Do you have any valuables to sell? Like jewelry? What oh, jewelry? Really? That's weird. Look at me. I had Pileha's ring, but I sold it to a pawn shop. Oh, and no. you don't stink, you know. They didn't want anything else anyway. And where is this pawn shop? At Brovarna Street. I have to go now. Goodbye. So much for having a memento of us. She really did hate him. Definitely not the killer. The killer probably just wanted to do her a favor. Hello. Hello, hello. How can I help you, sir? Are you buying? Pledging? Art, cards, old farts, top coats, ski, jewelry. Oh, what a line. Um, somebody who remembers the loan shop in Pawishli. Eh? Why? I'd like to see your jewelry. Gems, bangles, spangles. Wedding rings, golden. Uh huh. Congratulations. Preferably from a stiff. I know you've got one here. What does a magician need a ring like that for? Um. I've already told you. I'm getting married. No, you didn't. I do have one, but it's not for sale. It brings me luck. Oh dear. I need to find something. Hold on. Uh, I'll be back. Must be no something need. in the store. No need. Can you feel it? Is the smell of mystery. Stone Angel seems to have its eyes on the entire room. 
A lone wing, while small and coarse, seems to spread across the shop, enveloping the owner in a sense of security. Anxiety gives way to clear comfort every time he sets his eyes on the talisman that keeps all evil outside. Shumping. Someone has secured it against breaking with a third pile of pillows. Pillows secure the decorative frame, but on the pristine surface there's a scratch, an irrational fear. A potential ill fortune distorts the poor wretch, wretch's reflection, showing a face deprived of reason. What now? Nope. Do you know remember this. Mieszko said Semin? He was a lone shark around here. And you're asking me because? No reason. Said Semin died a long time ago. They say someone attacked and shot him. Terrible tragedy. Terrible. Even talking about him might bring bad luck. And so. Life goes on here in Powiśle. Okay. Something eludes me. Hmm. Goodbye. What is eluding me? Tall ladder that was knocked over by someone or something. The ladder is splashed with paint and droplets of overwhelming fear. Someone was afraid to pass under its steps as much as a child fears descending into a dark basement. Fear of terrible misfortune has soaked into the pine knots. He's like very fearful. Very, um, what's the word? Superstitious. Pornbroker is very superstitious. He fears almost everything and tries to secure himself from any danger, even the most unlikely. He could be convinced that the dead man's ring is not something he would like to possess. Hmm. There we go. We can do a spell. What now? You can feel evil energy creep out from every corner surrounding you. You're afraid you might be hexed. You don't realize you bring bad luck on yourself. How so? Don't you know dead people's things, especially personal items, attract restless souls? Can you hear the whispers? Is it the wind? It's strangely cold here. Take this cursed ring away from me. I don't want it. I'll happily rid you of this potential curse. Thank you very much. What a rumbling clatter. An eerie tremolo. Horses in the sky. Horses trampling in the sky. Hooves clattering. Thought echoes in the mind like a mantra. Forced by pain and panic. It ate into the gold ring like crimson rust, as its owner drew his last breath. He was pummeled to death. Wait until nightfall to interrogate again. Aunties again. Yeah, I, I still feel there's something we miss missing with the aunties. Is it aunties? Let's wait. Nighttime goes so bloody let's quick. Let's wait until... Nighttime. So, let's kill some time. Okay. Let's see if we can ask for something. A friend of Pietrus's. You can ask. Just be discreet. Ask about the victim. What about Tadeusz Pielecha? Do you know anything about him? What a miserable chap. No one could ever cheer him up. It must be really hard for his wife now. A friend of a friend saw him in a moonshine often. A local joint. I know where it is. Anything else? Thank you for being willing to talk to me. Goodbye. 
Give my best to Piotrus. Hey, what are you up to? Bothering the lady? Nothing comes for free. And wait a minute. I was only asking the lady a few questions. I'll take my leave. Over my dead body. Oh my god. Forget it. This is nothing, really. Just I let you chat, that's all. I'm supposed to step in if any fishermen or other scum bother you. So I am. Unless you want to be left alone. And you? Come here. Losing a few teeth will teach you not to waste a hooker's time. Let's do it. Seriously. This is so freaking Alright. See if I can improve my deed. We've got what one, two, three. What do I wanted to do? Don't waste the hooker's time, damn it. <laughs> I was it. I must have wasted my time. It's got a pew pew. You could shoot me twice, jerk. Jerk. Stupid pimp. There we go. Follow the trail. Another fight. You're not from around here, I can see. And duh. Good evening. Is this a bad time? It is a bad place, fancy boy. It is for the locals. So rude. Is it the weather that has this effect on you? One more word, and we will take you out. Um, it's too I'm a friend of Peter Kusta. Hey, do you hear the kind of names being tossed around here? You better find some friends your own age. Pervert. Get that fancy pants. 
Oh, right. Bovishla is not for beginners. Apparently. Uh, Bill is Lilic. Okay. Anyone have a knife? He has a pew pew, so let's um, go at him. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Apparently not. I need to kill these two first because they do a lot of damage. Who's this? Lelek and Mother. Oh wow. Okay, I'll take that. Any freaking day.
That was a very weird point. Like, really weird. Da Vinci showed off some of your Valheim build today. Just thought I'd... Ooh, nice. I'm gonna have to go and take a look. Yeah, I didn't have power for much of it today. Anybody else got a problem with me? You can just suck it. I thought so. Yeah. Bartender's clock. Not that stiff from dirt is marked by beer stains and remnants of conversation. Words of joy, words of pain, wishes of good fortune, secrets. Many companions make life in this comfortable place at least somewhat bearable. Someone has driven it deep into the wooden wall. That appeared Weird otherwise, the item still carries a good memory. A simple game of X-raying made long evening conversations more pleasant for the companions who've known each other since childhood. There are also words running down the handle, fresh and sad, grief for the one who will never again join them for a drink. No creative mode either, gotta gather all resources. Oh yeah, yeah we don't do um, creative mode either. We gather resources, but I put it on three times resources. Because I, I, with my power outages and the new freaking internet issue, I simply don't have the time. Cigarette butt in an ashtray. Ash blends with thoughts and powders them grey. But don't make a mistake. Stay calm and watch the victim patiently. She can hear her brother's voice in her head. As scolding as ever. As always, you dumb oaf. You're good for nothing. That's a woman they're looking for. Interesting. Just no brawling, please. What can I get you? Then don't piss me off, I'm sorry. I know Tadeusz Pielecha liked the company. One and a half? Wouldn't yeah, I was at one and a half drink? too. I, I don't feel like talking about Tadek. I was at one and a half, but with, with all the interruptions, and it was just going to take way too long. So we've upped it to three. Built the house twice, first time game crashed, lost... Oh, ouch. That's right. Oh, wow, the mod, I feel for you. That is hectic. Not a word. The bartender doesn't want to talk about to do get it. I'm not from here, but maybe I can convince him. The moonshine. Every person here is a regular. No wonder they don't want to talk to me. I can sense a deep sadness in the bartender, caused by the loss of one of his companions. I could take advantage of this and get him to confide in me about the fisherman's latest pet. You miss him, so do the others. You've known him for ages, and now the mere mention of his name tears a hole in your heart. Help me, and I will do him justice. Yeah, it's a damn shame. If he went back to his wife that night rather than here, I guess he'd be still alive. That means he spent his last night here? Yeah, when he left, that was the last we ever saw him. It was pissing down that night, too. And a few days later, he was lying sprawled out on the river bank like a dead fish. I suppose we don't have many customers on rainy nights like that. Hmm? Can you remember who else was here? Just regulars. Same as today, some hookers come by at times. Today we've got one copper and one intrusive posh boy, which is unusual. <laughs> I mean you. What the? Did Pielecha leave alone? Gienek, the steel worker, left with him, but he came back shortly after and passed out in the corner. Then a hooker went out, probably to work. Do you remember which one? Clara. She's the caring one. She jumps around with that little shit Eusta. Did you talk to really? him? 
Tadek did more drinking than talking. He only complained that Yaja had him removed from the brothel. He didn't avail himself of it, and he wouldn't pay for nothing. Other than that, no. He was a man of few words. Mm. I'll be off now. Good riddance. Interesting. You usually do stuff like this on single, but Wayne's a little crazy and never miss the resources. Okay. <laughs> The letter left the moonshine, vowing not to return to his wife. In the morning, he was already lying in the riverbank bed. Well, that will teach her. You want to stay alive? You keep your wife happy. Um, he died after leaving his favorite bar. His horses in the sky may relate to the last thing he heard before his death. All strong coaches and carriages going across the bridge that towers over the district. So the fisherman's torture chamber may be located under its massive arches in one of the barracks. Alrighty. We'll teach him for Screwing his wife over. So there's three ways to go. Your over three guys stone just on the front half. Well, to be to be honest, when uh, when we get to building in stone, we're probably gonna be well over that because I am planning on building a Will you stop rather up on us? large place. <laughs> Do you know Tadeusz Pielecha? Poor guy, he was the one the fisherman got this time. Absolutely yeah, love this one. You say better things about the dead. But? Pileha came to visit us, our Bodhi house, the day before he died. He wouldn't pay, so Aunt Yaja, the madam, had him thrown out. Thank you. I will talk to her. I've had it. Let's get out of here. I'm not going to stay here any longer, getting wet and tempting fate. Let's go. Yaja will get over it. Are we going somewhere? I'm actually quite liking this detective part of this. One thing I was good at. Superpowers, though, that would have been handy. Oh, hello. I don't know your little secret. So, this is where you've been hiding, fisherman. Mm -hmm. The red butts thrown in a can in front of one of the warehouses. Cigarettes' butts were filled with hateful thoughts, exhaled with each drag. He just has to finish up with Blitcher now that he's on the table. Toss him out on the riverbank and go back to his. Tangled mind. The murderess bears a trauma from her past. Pain and anger impelled her to take revenge on men for the hurt caused by her brother, who reeked of fish. They stripped her of moral inhibitions, and her disappointment with Warsaw and her life gave her a twisted excuse for killing. Sure. There's a paper on a tree. New time of the EIS meeting at five at the crossing of streets with Narska and Zem. Well, well. Well, well. Football. Every day at the intersection of streets with Narska and Ziemna, the Association of English Sports gathers those willing to learn a new sport that is very popular in the UK. The game of football. All you have to do is turn up at the venue at Well, well, well. 
check with him. Piotrush's older friend. I expected this to be only a matter of time. I warned you he would get hurt. Why is he lying still? What did you do to him? For now. He's only sleeping. The little angel. Like the others. Bravo. You should become an actress. I was not expecting the murderer would turn out to be the murderess. No one ever considers it as a possibility. Don't be a hero, or the lad's done for. Mm. So... I mean, I really don't like the little snot. If we withdraw, she's, she might kill him. Anyways. So we do, chat. Do we withdraw or um, one or two? We try and overpower her or we leave and get help. That's enough talking. Give up. And don't even think about that knife. I'll have the last word here. No! Everything okay? You all right? All right. Yeah. I'm all right. You're lucky the kid's in one piece. How could you be so irresponsible and act alone? There was no time to think. I had to act fast. And I think you followed your pride, Mr. Great Thalmathurd. Would you ever think she's the murderess? No. This is where my intuition failed. I also didn't anticipate that she'd take her life like this. It's that she killed herself. What? I'm sorry I didn't notify you before. Apologizing won't change the fact that the murderer... The murderer is dead. What will happen to Cayetano now? The perpetrator is deceased, so now I have to tie all the murders to her corpse. It'll take a while without a testimony. Seeing as you've bungled everything here, I'm tempted to hold your painter until he croaks. Just tell me when you release him. I'll call you. I'll be waiting for your call regarding Cayetan's case, Commissioner. Sure. Goodbye. Take care, partner. We did good. Let's go. I'll show you the police station. Ooh. And that was well that ends well, I suppose. Okay, so now we just wait for the call from him. Um, I want to go 
see if we can do the same up. See if we can do this. So I think we might be able to finish it. Chairman of the bridge, lovers. Nothing can be kept secret from me. Mm -hmm. I thought I was looking. Fashion review. The July issue lead story is the debate bound on boundaries in fashion by renowned Warsaw tailors Miss Haas and Melo Malinowicz. Which is wearing an extravagant item considered an expression of old creativity. And when does it defy good? I don't know if I've seen this one already. Fate has brought us together again. Fate again. We have to part again. I don't want to fight you. A true Tempermancer does not shy away from the challenges of fate. Fight me. For dignity, for honor, and for the title of the King of the Tempermancers. Face your destiny. What? We might die, but let's... let's All right. Sit. To me, visitors, to me. Lelek, Uber, Gotch. Who's got nothings? Nobody's got nothings. Oh, let's see who's what. Let's see who, who, who's doing what here. Let's uh, grab Lelek. These two are gonna hurt me. That's
I'm gonna die. Ready for that dude yet?
actually going to leave it here. I've actually got something that I need to go do. So yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. Really appreciate it. I will... I think I'm streaming again tomorrow. I'm not sure. I have to check my schedule. But yeah, hope you have a wonderful evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are. And we will be streaming in Shrouded an hour and a half later than usual tonight. So I hopefully see you there. So yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.